question 7b. Study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table below. Each row relates to one of the figures in the sequence of figures on page 23. Some rows have not include, been included in the table. Complete the rows numbered 1, 2, and 3. Complete the rows numbered 1, 2, and 3. All right. So let's see. So it's 1 plus 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 plus 4. 3 is 3 plus 2 plus 6. The length of the outer lines of unit length. The length of the outer line of unit length. Let's look at part 1. Now, 1. Quick figure 1. You have 1, 2, 1 plus 2 plus 2. It looks like that. Let's see. 1 plus 2 plus 2. Okay. Figure 2. 1, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 2 plus 2 plus 4. Then figure 3. 3 plus 2 plus 6. Let's see. 1, 2, 3 plus 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 3 plus 2 plus 6. Suppose there was a figure 6 now. Notice here, 1, it starts with 1, 2 starts with 2, 3 starts with 3. Now, I would expect 6 to start with 6. So it would be 6 plus, no, plus 2. Only two sides. No, ma it seems as if no matter how many sides you have, no matter what figure this is, there's, there will be only two sides. All right. Let's look at figure four again quickly. You have uh, this one, then two, three, four. That's one. With that going up, 2, with that going up, 3 at the bottom, and then 4. So you always have only two sides. This represents, this, these two represents the two sides. So what I have here is 2 plus now. It seems as if these numbers at the end are double the number of the figure. 2, figure 1, you double it to 2, figure 2, you double it to 4, figure 3, you double it to 6. Is that really the case? Figure 1, there is 2, um, what would you call this? The size of the roof. Two sides of roof. Figure two, one, two, three, four. Figure three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, it seems so. So, in each case, you double the figure number to get the number of sides of the roof. So, this will be six doubled to twelve. Then, All these add up to 12 plus 2 is 12 plus 6 is how much? 18 plus 2, 20. Now this says the total is 65. 65. If you have a total of 65, how do you get back to the figures? Hmm. What you have here, let's look back at this. There are five total.
total is 5. 1 gives a total of 5. 2 gives a total of 8. 3 gives a total of 11. 6 gives a total of 20. Now, if I should come up with an n for a figure n, n is equal to n plus 2 plus here the n number is double the number of n is 2n hmm. so all of this adds up to 2n plus 1n this is 1n 2n plus 1 is 3n so it's 3n plus 2 it seems let me see 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 11 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 20 seem to be working so far so 3n plus 2 gives you 65 Let's work out what n is. Subtract 2 from both sides. Minus 2 to get rid of this 2. So you have 3n equal. Minus 2 here. So this becomes 63. Then divide by 3. 3 cancels 3. You have n equals. Then divide this by 3. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 6, 2. 3 into 3, 1. This is 21. So it seems as if this is figure 21. So I write 21 here. So it's really 21 plus 2, which is a fixture in the middle, plus double 21. The end number here, remember, is double. So 21 twos, 42. All right. Then it says, what is n? We already saw that n is going to be 3n plus 2 so it is 3n oh they want the sum as well so let's backtrack a bit this is going to be oh yeah i should write it in this pattern it is n plus 2 plus 2n and then the sum now is 3n plus 2 right so that seems to be the answer when you fill out the quest the, the the table so part b this is what you get for part b